what's up everybody um this video is more or less of a, of a safety tip um while you're out in the woods researching being in the re in the woods doing our research we well we know that there's a lot of wild animals out there um some can pose a threat but the majority of them will just run away but occasionally we do get those ones that want to stand the ground or be a nuisance uh besides the animals i think humans are the bigger threat out there uh, meth labs out in the woods, forests, um, you know, stumbling across something like that could be potentially dangerous. Uh, them shooting at you or, or coming after you, running after you, um, could be a, a scary thing as well. Uh, them catching you is probably even a little bit more of a scarier thing. So I, I just wanted to bring up some uh, safety tips, you know. Um, me, I don't go out in the woods alone, even if it's during the daytime. You never know what's going to happen. Me being handicapped um, with my foot, walking with a cane, um, it's always good for me to be with somebody else. If you are a researcher that does go out in the woods, uh, safety first, even if you're with other people. Um, when you're out there, you bring some people out, you got a team and such, you guys always should watch each other's back. Uh, that should, shouldn't even be really said. That just should be a fact. Um, watch each other's back while you're out in the woods <coughs> excuse me um, you know and, and for those who don't carry guns are part of the no kill club good there are researchers who are still part of the no kill no kill side of the fence that also do still carry firearms in case uh, a, 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 a possible threat is to um, come up uh, such as ones I just mentioned um, but for me, I, I really would hate to see an animal being destroyed or uh, a human being, another fellow human being shot, even though if they're high off their mind off of meth or anything and hiding out in the woods. Um, so just I wanted to bring up some, some things that you guys can use while out in the field uh, just to help ensure your safety. Um, and maybe a couple of instances. So you say, what if you do stumble up a, a, a place that's making meth or drugs out in the woods uh, and there is a, a few people there what do you do I mean if it's one-on-one -on -one, yeah sure you can fight them off with your, by yourself but if there's two on one you kind of want to have the chances in your upper hand of course running is always or if you're trying to get away from the situation is first and foremost the, the first thing you want to do and try to be quiet at that but what if you are spotted and what if you if you are seen or something like that um, you know it, 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 I really can't stress enough on the bear spray uh, or the wildfire spray. Um, those sprays are, are meant to help you and, and protect you out there in the field. Um, they're non lethal, they won't kill the person or, or the predator, the animal, what have you, and they will, will give you more time to escape. Um, so you know, a quick spray to this in the eyes or in the face should allow you enough time to get out there uh, and, and get away from that situation, what have it be, what may it be. Uh, it, it, you know, if it's one-on-one -on -one and in, he, you're struggling with him and stuff, um, a, another option is to get yourself um, a little stun gun here. Uh, this one is 6.8 million volts. Uh, it's rechargeable pretty slick because you just slide this out and you stick these prongs I'm trying to get the sun out of your guys' way uh, stick these prongs here into uh, the wall socket let it recharge by itself um, one thing I wouldn't want to be zapped by is something that's 6.8 million volts uh, it comes with a flashlight on there as well and uh, when you push it up even more it goes into stun mode That's for more or less close contact, hand-to-hand -hand contact type of a deal. Um, hopefully a situation will never come, but you can't, can never be too safe. I mean, let's face it, it really can't be too safe. Um, you know, once you stun the person, of course, if you got a cell phone, you can get the safety or something. Um, you want to press charges on that person for the assault or something like that, or just leave them in the woods unconscious, depending on, on whatever action you decide to take. You want to secure the person, get yourself a pair of cuffs. Um, <laughs> I know it might sound 
really outlandish and everything but um, this will also guarantee that they won't come after you and can't use a weapon against you um, while you're doing whatever you gotta do contacting the authorities or and waiting for the authorities to come a pair of cuffs uh, is not a bad idea it's a pretty good idea as a matter of fact I, I in my in my opinion everybody has a right to their own opinion um, so definitely you know it's just wanna put that out there great great for restraint um, keeps the person from attacking you if you you know so there, there's there's another great idea uh, again, if you if you find yourself in the presence of a CR predator or a nuisance animal, and you're making your noise and everything to scare the bear away or what have you, the mountain lion, cougar, um, and yeah, you, you, you see it's being persistent. Again, you can uh, always use uh, the bear spray on them or the wildfire spray that burns at three million square foot heat units. Um, you know, the thing is, is that sometimes. Bears, depending on the species, or I guess any species, to be honest with you, if they got it stuck in their head to be a nuisance, they're going to come back for you, or come back and continue where they left off. Uh, I've heard it done with even black bears, and black bears are supposed to be one of the most skittish uh, bear species. Um, that being the case, you know, again, spray them a couple of times, hopefully that will uh, get off, but uh, if they keep on getting more persistent or a little bit more closer, um, so I, I purchased a stun baton. Um, this is uh, a one million volt stun baton. Also comes with a flashlight and an alarm. Um, this little stun baton here is quite the slick thing. It, uh, <laughs> it, it shoots up. Well, it's in chase it shoots up, but it, it extends once you take the safety off and you press the, the trigger it uh, spring activated and this is also rechargeable I know I'm not going to stun myself that was <laughs> that'd be a great blooper though wouldn't it <laughs> I'd have to agree with you um, you know and this will keep things at bay as well um, depending if they want to get close or how close they get get charged by a bear step out of the way and, and, and stun the thing you know um, make it run off it, it's just your life is in your own hands and what you do to protect it is totally up to you I'm just trying to help you guys out and give you guys some options um, you know of course worst scenarios and everything like that the majority of the times I've been doing this research for 11 years we never came up on a bear in the woods yet Although a colleague has here in Minnesota with the cubs, and he made enough noise, and the bear was skittish enough where it just ran off with the cubs. Uh, this happened last year, as, as a matter of fact. But say if it was a male bear or uh, a mother bear with her cubs, and you got in between them, not knowingly, what would happen? Um, mom, mom would fight tooth and nail pretty much for those cubs' lives. So. Um, you know that the bear spray does come with uh, a belt holster. It's not the sturdiest thing. Actually, this one has broken. I had to use some Gorilla Glue right here, but it's been working ever since. Nice little holster for that. Carry it around your waist, or if you have a tactical vest, you can put it in the pouch. Or uh, you can do both. You have one in the pouch and one around your waist, like uh, such as I, I do. Um, the stun baton comes with a nice little belt case as well. Slip the belt through the loops. Flashlight to help you see in the dark. It is rechargeable. You can recharge right here. Um, about eight hours charge or so. I really like this because if you see, for instance, I don't know, I didn't show you this feature that it has, but on the sides of this, you know, if, if you are. Uh, in a confrontation with somebody out in the woods and they grab this there's metal on the sides you just press that trigger and it will start shocking them stunning them as well and uh, hopefully they think twice or if you do it long enough you can put somebody down on the ground to the point where you can cuff them and call the authorities um, and also sound an alarm helps good it's good at night such as the, the smaller one as well 
So, um, I hate to see any of my research friends and colleagues, peers out there, have anything bad happen to you guys. I'm, you know, the chances are that none, nothing will happen, and I pray that it won't, but you can never be too safe. Uh, this little guy here, um, about a five hour charge for the 6.8 million volt handheld stun gun, which is more or less for like if you're struggling and you know, if you're getting overpowered by him or something, uh, take it out. The longer you hold down, the, the more um, they'll start losing the effects of the muscles. So, um, I hope everybody stays safe out there. Um, everybody has a right to their own opinion. Just some things I thought I'd bring attention. Safety first, safety, safety first. Uh, having, having yourself and protecting your friends' lives and your colleagues and fellow researchers there uh, should be top priority. First aid kits are always uh, great. Should have out in the field, even if it's just a couple of band-aids. Usually that's what happens. You will get scraped up by the thorns and stuff like that. Uh, but you can also, there is that chance where you can twist or break an ankle out there or, or slip and get unconscious. Um, there's a lot of slippery places as far as the creek bed, stepping on moss, uh, wet log, stuff like that where you can slip and render yourself unconscious. That's why I choose to use the buddy system out there. Hope you guys found this video helpful and educational. And... Um, Please, all, wel all comments are, are welcome. If you decide to leave some, appreciate it. Until next time, everybody, this is Elusive One signing off, saying Squatch On.